Howdy friends and future subscribers, 448 videos with another knife overview for y'all. In today's video, we'll be looking at the More Knife Companion Heavy Duty with a high carbon steel blade. More Knife is a Swedish company that has been making knives for a very long time, delivering quality at affordable prices. Let me start by saying this is one of the best knives on the market for the price. I picked this one up a few years back for $18. That's right, $18. At that price, you can use it and abuse it. And if it breaks, it won't break your bank account or your heart to replace it. Let's start with some specs. This knife has an overall length of 8.625 inches, a blade length of four inches, is 0.125 inches thick, and a handle length of 4.625 inches. The knife itself weighs 3.6 ounces and 4.7 ounces with the sheath. It does not have a full tang, rather it has a tang that runs about three quarters of the way through the handle. It also has an impact resistant pommel that can be used for driving tent stakes or other light hammering tasks. The blade is made of Swedish carbon steel with a clip point, a 90 degree spine, and a Scandi grind, which is awesome for outdoor bushcrafting tasks such as batonic wood, fire sticking, carving, and fire steel scraping. The handle is polypropylene with a rubberized overmold. This is one of the most comfortable handles on any of the knives I own. It fits the hand perfectly, and the rubberized handles ensure a proper grip, even when wet. The knife comes, my knife comes in OD green, but it comes in many different colors, such as orange, brown, black, green, blue, magenta, and anthracite. It also comes in a stainless steel blade version. The sheath is also polymer and is color matched to the knife. It's a no frills functional sheath that will fit belts up to two inches in width and has a drain hole at the bottom. It has a positive lockup when the knife is inserted, but as you can see, has a little play when fully seated. So my knife has a dark finish on the blade, which is not the way it came from the factory. The factory finish is satin, but with a carbon steel blade, that can lead to rusting. I live in a very humid area and decided to apply a forced patina using the boiling white vinegar method. Basically, this method forces a chemical reaction with the steel, which produces the protective coating. Just suspend the blade in the boiling vinegar until you achieve the desired patina, clean off the vinegar completely, and apply a light coating of oil. As you can see, the patina on my blade is dark and consistent, and I am highly pleased with the results. This knife lives in my EDC backpack, and I've had no issues with any oxidation on the blade. I also added about five feet of paracord to the sheath because it's always good to have that available in a survival situation. Overall, this is an awesome knife that can handle any task that you need done with the blade, and it will fit anyone's budget. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I read them all, and I'm excited to share my thoughts and experiences with my gear. Also, please head over to my channel for more EDC and outdoor videos. While you're there, hit that subscribe button. It's always appreciated. Until next time, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.